Aviation is full of wisdom and techniques handed down through the generations. Ideas of how to fly better that came from long ago that may or may not be true. Oh yeah, that's, you know, that's really true. There, it's like, you know, like running your engine over square or the dangers of uh, turning down wind. And another is the speed advantage. Uh, you can get by flying on the step. So is that a myth? AOPA's Dave Hirschman and Mike Felucci put it to the test. Among pilots, there's few better ways to start an argument than on the step. And oh, that's yeah. the idea that uh, this age-old idea that there's speed and efficiency to be gained by climbing above a target altitude, then descending on the step to get that wing planing more efficiently and go faster for longer. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, Dave. You know, I think that migrated over from the, uh, the boating community. But you don't think there's anything to it? I think it's a myth. Okay, well, you don't, I mean, pilots have been doing this for decades. You don't think there's any advantage to be gained whatsoever? I do not, I do not. Now, you know, there are, no, there are no loopholes in the laws of physics. All right, well, let's just see. Let's just see. These two Cessna Skyhawks were built the same year and they're identically equipped. They're being flown side by side at similar weights and their performance is evenly matched. During climb out, the two stay together at full throttle as they close in on their target altitude of 6,500 feet. When they get there, the lead airplane levels off at wide open power. Okay, coming up on 6,500, I'm gonna level off and uh, just continue the climb. Okay, we'll do that. The wing airplane climbs an additional 200 feet, then descends on the step. There's 67, starting downhill now. Race on. The lead airplane is pulled ahead, but not for long. As the wing airplane descends, it closes the gap. The two airplanes are exactly even in level flight at wide open power, and they stay that way. I'd say it looks like about a watch. I would say so. It looks like uh, our speed matched just about the time I pulled line of breath. So what's the conclusion? There's absolutely nothing to be gained by climbing above your target altitude and then descending on the step. A pilot who does this trades some potential energy in the form of higher altitude for kinetic energy, a momentary increase in speed, but the overall aerodynamic equation is unchanged. So I gotta say, um, I was surprised by the result of our, of our fly-off. And I gotta say, I wasn't surprised in the least. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, certainly, I thought there would be some difference. I mean, as it turned out, the planes were exactly equal. I mean, right down to within like a foot of one another. You know, I've got to officially proclaim Bravo Sierra on this myth. All right, it is officially relegated to the big book of aviation myths. Thanks, Dave and Mike. Advantage definitely goes to Mike. We'll be looking a lot more at bits of conventional aviation wisdom in future stories. If there's something you'd like us to prove, send us an email at aopalive.org.